Hi, I'm Dave Wilbur, and I'm going to show you how to prototype a COVID-19 um, neighborhood sharing app. Okay, and I'm going to use Thunkable, and you can go to thunkable.com to get here. I've got a bunch of apps already showing. Uh, your, your screen will be blank to start out, um, but just go to thunkable.com, and that's where, that's where we're going to build the app. On the right side of my screen, I'm showing basically uh, my iPad, and, and I'm just projecting it onto my screen. So you're actually seeing what's on my iPad. You'll notice there's one app here called Thunkable. It's really called Thunkable Live. And to get that app, you're going to have to go to your app store, and you can just search for Thunkable, dot, uh, Thunkable Live. And once you search for that, you will be able to download the app. So there's Thunkable Live, and you can just download that app. And basically, um, that's what you're going to need for you. So, so that's what you need on your iPad or your iPhone um, or your Android, Android device. And then on your computer, you're going to go to Thunkable.com. All right, so let's, let's, let's at least design an app for ourselves. And I'm just going to click on Create a New App. And I live in Coal Valley, so I'm going to call this the Coal Valley um, Sharing App. Or let's just call it Coal Valley COVID-19 Sharing App. And I'll just create it. And it's going to come up in what's called the designer. So this is, this is kind of where I show what, this, what the app will look like. And that's the designer. And then where you're going to do your actual code, your interactive behavior is in what's called the block screen. And obviously, I've got nothing there yet. Um, so back on my design screen, what I'm going to do is just basically put an image. And then I'm going to have an input box for the user to post things like, oh, you know, there's toilet paper available at Walgreens, stuff like that. And then we'll have a list box, which will show all the previous posts. So we'll do a pretty simple app to, to start. And you know, over here on the bottom left is kind of all the components that are available. And what I'm going to do is go down and, and find um, the image component. And I'm going to drag it up here. And I'm going to choose as its property, the picture property. You can kind of upload a file. And I've got this thing called Coal Valley Map 2. And I'm just going to open it. And it's going to um, appear in my image. Now I want I want my image to be I don't know about take about thirty percent of the screen so I want to do it in percentages so you know my app may run on an iPad or iPhone and it should kind of look the same so I, want, I always want to use percentages um, when I do this and then for the height oh sorry actually the height I want to be thirty percent and then my width I want it to basically go all the way across I'll just say ninety eight percent. Okay, it's going to end up being at the top, but for now, I've kind of got my image how I want it. And the next thing I'm going to add is what's called a row. And row is up in the layout area. And it basically just allows us to kind of put things side, side by side. Um, and I want my row to be below my image. I can also kind of move things around. You know, all the names of my components are here on the left top. Um, but anyway, so I've got my row. And I can drag things into it, and they'll be placed side by side in the row. And what I want here is the first thing I want is a text input box. OK, and that's where the user can kind of enter information. So these are all my basic user um, interface objects. And I'm going to grab a text input. And you can see it lets someone kind of type there. And then I'm going to grab probably the most common interface object, which is a button. And uh, I want to get it just to the right of text input. I'll come over here to change it. So you know, I've got a text input box. I've got a button. And I've got my picture here. So I'm almost getting there. The, the last kind of component I'm going to add is called a list viewer. And this is where we'll list like the previous posts that have been entered. And at, I kind of stuck it in the row. I don't really want it in the row. I'm, I want it separate from the row. So I'm going to move it up there and then I'm going to actually move my row above it. Okay, so I'm kind of getting there. The only thing I don't like is my row is a little too long and my list viewer is not. So I'm going to make my list viewer, I actually want it to be, I don't know, um, let's just say 50% of 
of the whole screen, right? And then I'm going to make this uh, this row actually smaller, and we'll just make a relative size of about 10%, something like that. Okay, so I've just kind of developed the the how my app's going to look, and now I'm going to test it on my iPad. And like I said, this Thunkable Live app over here, and I just press the the app and once I bring that app up, I can kind of simulate running the app I'm working on by just kicking, clicking that live, live test. And as you can see, we're doing pretty good. It's got um, my image showing. And if, I, if the user touches in on the area, I can, I can type stuff, right? I've got a button that doesn't work yet. And I've got a list viewer here. Uh, there's just nothing in it yet, so, so I, I can't see anything. So we've kind of at least built the visual part of what our app's going to look like. And in the next video, I'll show you how to actually put some data into that list viewer and, and, and actually get a prototype that you could show, show people.